Hey guys, what's up? Neff here, and this is gonna be a really quick unboxing video of the KZ DS10 Pro. I've been hearing a lot about this, and I decided to get one. Usually, I go to a store and listen to it first, but I can't. I can't go out, and I don't have much to compare this to other earphones. Um, the only uh, other earphone I have is a Fio F5. And this is not available anymore. Um, this is actually four years old, and I have it connected to a TRM um, Bluetooth adapter. This uh, I got this April seven, and um, there is a virus going around. I'm not allowed to say it. Uh, I'm from the Philippines. I got this from Gadget Hunter. So if you're from the Philippines. And you want to get your own, um, you can go to their Instagram page or Facebook page, send them a message, give them the name of the item, then you can, can discuss just the details. And once it's paid, they can deliver to you uh, via grab delivery. It took just two hours for me to get the item. Um, it's just really, really quick delivery. But just looking at the outside of the box. Now the side, uh, yeah, now this is the first AZ earphones I'm gonna have, um, let me try to open this with, okay, overkill scissors, uh, let me see, give me a second, let me try to open. can't really hear any other sound because I'm recording this with my microphone so if the item if something is behind the microphone it's a condenser microphone so if anything behind it you just won't register the sound I'm sorry um, okay so we got it open now um, also I've never had a chance to test other KZ earphones. Um, I think this is just standard packaging. Oh, look, crap! It, that's shiny, really shiny. Um, I um I got this for um one thousand eight hundred eighty nine Philippine peso. I think for US dollar this sells for forty nine US dollar or fifty. Uh, for the packaging the only thing i have i can compare is uh, the fio f5 and the sabbath e12 ultra they look way better than this <laughs> i'm trying to get this out wait okay so that's out um there's nothing else inside okay so this is um all chinese can't read that these are instructions yeah instructions quality how to connect the ends um, I'll check that later this is I think this is the the cable and um, in terms of sound uh, my sound preference is neutral in detail uh, more for sound quality I'm not into too much bass or as some audio files might call it um, bass heads now this is the first time having a cable like this um, i didn't get the one with the microphone i think it will cost a bit more like, um, yeah a bit more i get the one with the mic the fio f5 that i have um, comes with two cables though and just looking at this um yeah this cable uh, i think this is long enough not too long or not too short so yeah and that's that's the tip right there 
Now, I've seen with other KZ earphones at Facebook or some pictures. Um, if you keep unplugging this from the earphones themselves, keep removing and plugging in again and again, it will either start to get loose or rip out the plugger connector on the earphones. Now, once you remove the plastic cover, I think this is all you get. Let me put that aside. Um, this is tips. Yeah, tips. I know some people um, change the tips to um, I've been seeing like Benefit or uh, I think it's A E zero eight and P for Tom. Um, you do have to spend time to pick the right tips because it will affect the sound, um, especially for I and one M's. Yeah, this is one, two, three. Four, five, six. The three pairs. The three pairs. Yeah, three pairs of tips. I think it would have been nice if they're separate. Um, for Sabbath and Fio. Um, once you get the if the the packaging is, they're on they're on a cardboard box, like this one. Um, they're on a cardboard. They're like connected on the like cardboard like uh yeah so they're separate based on size so that is actually way you know, sabbath's packaging is way better than this and feel now how we get this out um that's it this is the plastic for the the, the tips now for uh, well comparing this to sabbath e12 ultra and the feel f5 um, this is cheaper, way cheaper. You know what I mean? If I can push, I don't want to break it. Push it. Uh, wait. Okay, yeah, there you go. I can just push it from behind. Um, I've seen. I think I've seen other. Yeah, I've seen other colors of this. Wait, yeah, give me a second. Come on, I don't want to break it. Okay, yeah, there you go. Um, I've seen other colors of this. Um, it's I've seen like violet or maroon, and I've seen blue, and this is shiny, really shiny. Oh, um, I'm sorry. This is um a black version. Um, usually, this is um out of stock, and you know, considering the virus going around. Oh, I can't go out, so I can't look for shops that this is uh, available. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is the black version. Really shiny. Oh, I'm amazed how shiny this is. Like, seriously. Okay, let me set that aside. Now, just to compare um, this with... The Fio F5 that I got, um, this is going back four years ago. Um, it comes with a case and two cables. And the tips are somewhere. I um, forgot where I put them, but yeah, they're somewhere here. Now, I will use this case and store that KZ earphones. And I do plan to get uh, a TRN BT3 or like a Bluetooth adapter for KZ because the, the tips. Or the connector is different um fio is mmcx i don't know what it's called for kz but i'll use the cable for now um aside from fio f5 and the sabbath e12 ultra i have um, um attack star pro 82 i usually use this for gaming usually for gaming i don't take it outside and I have an audio um, audio Technica uh, ATH M40X. It's somewhere here. Been using that for like seven years. Um, I'll try. Yeah, I'll try this for gaming. I'm curious if it's good in terms of detail. Tax Star is really good. It's really good. It's cheap for a headphone with so much detail. But um, yeah. 
can we see anything else we can look at this yeah um in terms of packaging it is kind of meh but the sound isn't good according to reviews i'm not sure if i will make a review of the sound uh, i'm not that familiar in terms of technical stuff um this is just a simple unboxing video i think this is just really really thick foam now the downside for a packaging like this is uh, again you don't have a case or anything to store it gonna be a disadvantage um i think i think you can get um I, yeah if it's it's gonna be hard if you don't have a case like this yes you might let me see yeah i think you can get like um, a cheap case from um daiso if you're from the philippines or if you're somewhere from japan i think you can get one from daiso or japan home um yeah i think you can get one and i'm just looking at this cable yeah I, I think just holding it right just right from the table i think this is gonna get tangled just holding it man it looks like it's gonna get really really tangled a lot uh, if i stick to a wire i'll get a different yeah i'll get a different wire or a different cable um wait, wait, wait let me see can i use this uh no, no no i can't i can't yeah um this cable has its own thingy that stops it from getting tangled but yeah i got excited for nothing uh, i was thinking if i can remove it i i can't but this is gonna get tangled let's look at it now um yeah for now this is all i can say uh, again packaging itself is is kind of meh so i'm gonna have to use this um case again if i don't have a bluetooth uh, adapter yet now let's just take a few seconds and look at how shiny this is i keep saying it's shiny it's really shiny like damn it's shiny see really shiny well for now i guess uh, that's about it um you can like and subscribe thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video i'll see if i can make um, a review of this review after use of one week so yeah thank you